Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 22. All right, the previous episode, we met the leader of the X-Laws. Her name is Jan and her spirit is Shamash. So we met her and we also saw that Lyserk has joined the X-Laws, but he still ha like, you know, has control over himself. Like he's not as blind as all the others, like, you know, and he tried to kill one of the opponents, but Morphine stopped it. And I'm sure his own conviction also stopped him from, uh, like, you know, killing someone in the name of law and that's good and like yo himself kind of said that if he actually cr kills someone you know i myself will stop him and punish him something like that he said and he had his trust on lyserk and like you know by the end of it it actually paid off and i'm happy for that so that was with all with lyserk but obviously like you know uh, john took his place after that and completely like you know killed the opponents but he she did give them a chance she told them to actually ask for forgiveness and withdraw but they did not do that so you know he like she punished them in the name of law so that was that's and we can like kind of see how their sense of justice is it's like uh like you know it's, it's, it's in a tunnel vision inflexible ju justice so it you know like it, it poses some problems and i'm sure like I'm, I'm it's very different from your sense of justice so what i'm really looking forward to is i'm sure in the future yo and uh, the leader of the exos jan will have a fight i think so at least you know so i'm kind of looking forward to that because how dis different the sense of justice is and i'm looking forward for them to actually clash their convictions and see how strong their own convictions are. Jan seems very sure of her own convictions. So does Yo. So it'll be a great fight in my opinion because shaman fights are all about the inner determination. And yeah, it will be great if it actually happens, you know, like Yo versus Jan. Like I'm really looking forward to that fight if it actually happens. So yeah, that was that. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started. This is Shaman King episode number 22. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh yeah, he went, he became unconscious. <laughs> ah. Nah, he, he's looking after you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he saw someone die for the first time, I think, in front of his eyes. <sighs> Heat. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it is scary. <laughs> it's a tournament, like you know. True. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I wonder what uh, fight we're going to have today. Mm, maybe how we'll fight. Uh, we've not seen him fight in a tournament. I think so. Yeah, we've just seen him kill people, <laughs> but not a proper fight. So. But I doubt any opponent will pose any threat to Hao. Obviously, before he actually fights either Jun or Yo, like those will be like equal fights. But before that, I I don't see anyone actually stopping Hao. Unless and until there's like a uh, someone who is very strong in this Shaman King who we still don't know.
Hmm. Okay. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, restaurant, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Come on, Ru, don't pick fights. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's nervous, okay. Yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay. <laughs> Why? What? What? Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god, he has his confidence, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, look at that face. Oh, full of confidence. Okay, I, I, I was sure of it. They have something in, under his sleeves. Ultra Senji Yakyatsu. Okay. Okay. Oh, who are these? You, you don't know? What? Um... Yeah... But Ren is more pissed, I think. Oh, okay. Iceman. Mm, yeah, that was lukewarm, you think? Uh-huh. Okay. Um... Okay, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, they have some cool looking spirits. Oh. Zarya. Ojanoi. Oh, okay. Oh. What's with the subtitles? Okay. Why is he telling them all their fighting techniques? What the hell? Oh, is he like a viking or something? Yeah, oh boy. This guy looks strong. Come on, Horo Horo and Ren. Oh. 
my god ren must be pissed yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <sighs> i'm looking forward to this match oh <laughs> Okay, we're going to see the match today only. Okay, okay, nice. Oh, I'm looking forward to the one punch. One punch match. What? He even has problems with our dress. What the hell? <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Dressing. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Th that scene. <laughs> okay. Whoa! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yes. Yours confident? Oh, okay, that, okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're technically the enemy, you know. Yeah, that's why she took uh, Ryu under her wing and Faust as well. He, Yo is so chill, I love it. Yeah, no need to. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he said that we we're going to win this in one punch. Oh, Elisa is back. What? That's not a reason. Like it doesn't okay. Matter what whether the spirits are humans or not, the determination is the main thing. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. body complete body and soul oh okay 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 come on yes oh oh was that the thing that was my god whoa Sound is sound. Oh. Wow, that's a huge sword. <laughs> Not okay. I I'm sure like Ryu and Faust also had some kind of a uh, hidden strength like this. Like they have also trained.
It's just oversold to imbue them both together. Oh, that's my friend. Oh, okay. Okay, that thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, it's national treasure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> True. <laughs> they were trash talking quite a lot. Let's see. Okay, let's start quickly. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Orange spirits are trapped. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he knows that they're going to win. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Blink of an eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, he also has something up his sleeves. What? <laughs> He's admitting that. <laughs> Neither can. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Death? What? Okay. Easy prey. Really? Don't judge your book by its cover. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. We're using someone else's. Who's the. Oh. Okay. Wow. Wait, she can talk.
<laughs> oh my god, you're gonna get smacked. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, I'm sure that's because of Anna, you know? I think so. <laughs> I'm sure it's because of Anna. Anna helped her. Uh, him, him. Alright. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, is he like <laughs> Yes. <laughs> ah, no one cares about that. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Like, people have different sets of yeah, people have different set of values. Like you, you don't have the right to. <sighs> God, wow. Yeah, this guy needs his pride to be a little bit hammered down, you know? Came true long ago. Oh yeah. There you go. Nice. Okay, true. Manta? Or no? <laughs> Good looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's what he's thinking okay he won <laughs> it sounds like a con <laughs> he's crying <laughs> Oh. Yes. Whoa. Wait, wait, what? Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> God, I said it like I kind of said it that I'm sure all the other like Horo Horo and um, Faust, both of them also have something up their sleeves, and <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> like not only yo yo just showed her like and gave a little teaser of his skills and then the others were like you know what let us handle this <laughs> okay bye god <laughs> like the amount of development that they went through in this few days like as they said like in even like the previous battle yo was yo and his team were quite weak and suddenly like you know no after the little small little time skip they're like the strongest now so not strongest but on par with how i think so at least i'm not sure i'm not sure how strong how is so probably similar to him now but you know what i think how is stronger than them still i don't know i kind of feel like it yeah yeah it must be otherwise i don't but i think by the final like you know when the final will come by that time i'm sure they're going to get even stronger and probably catch up to how so who knows but all right okay this episode wow this was, was a great episode and um like i knew that they were strong but <laughs> they became a bit too strong in this little amount of time and you know uh not only us even even the um opponents <laughs> they were also like surprised and um, yeah okay so just a sec guys sorry about that something went into my mouth okay yeah uh, so yeah as i was saying so um, not only them uh now nah, what was i saying oh yeah uh, they became strong in like you know so strong in this little amount of time and obviously like yo like, you know yo was very chill yo is always always chill and he was even more chill and like that really shows that he had confidence in their strength and okay what was the name of the technique uh cho I forgot and check it out the name of the what was it so okay here it is cho senji ryakketsu or ultra senji ryakketsu senji ryakketsu okay so that the power of that and it's immense now one thing like i am I, like you know i think I was, I was able to understand here like why anna actually like you know taught fast and i'm sure you as well <coughs> them as well this this technique because they and i'm, I'm guessing you and fast are officially affiliated with fumbari uh, like you know hot springs and you know like uh, like they're obviously they're going to stay together from now on uh, as like you know i'm guessing the staff of uh, the hot spring like you know yo will be the proprietor the master i'm guessing and Mm. Anna will be the lady that is the Okami and they will be I'm guessing the staff members or something like you know Faust will be the doctor uh, I'm sure Ru will also do something like help them around or something like they are officially affiliated with them that's why their their family secrets like she taught them about it mm, that's why like you know I like I, I doubt she, like Anna is going to teach all of these things to Ren because he has his own life and i doubt he's going to join them in <laughs> in the hot springs you know as like some staff member i doubt that so she won't teach this technique to them most probably because of this so everyone who gets affiliated with them you know i'm guessing anna is going to teach them this technique so because obviously they're part of the family now and uh, yeah okay so here we meet the Okay, so first we go to the cafeteria and obviously we can see how chill Yo is and <laughs> you know Ren kind of got pissed at that but you know Faust and um, uh, uh, Ryu they were very confident and Yo was also very confident and yeah that really showed that they had something up their sleeves <laughs> and uh, we met and uh, meet the opponents here okay what's that name ice iceman wasn't it just a sec
okay i can't find the name but it was something like that the, the name of the team and they are all somehow related to like you know there's like a someone uh the girl was related to the russian like you know uh uh spirit um the guy was uh I irish you know and um the the other guy he was um a viking like they had the viking spirit the you know ireland spirit and the russian spirit and okay what was their let me check them their name out again uh just a sec Okay, uh, okay, uh, my name is, okay, Oversol Vojanoi, I'm a Russian shaman, yeah, a commander of Slavic legends, Slavic legends, forgotten higher spirits, okay, her name is Zor Zorya, what's the name of the spirit, I forgot, kind of difficult to actually, Vojanoi, Vojanoi and Zoria. I doubt I'll remember their names. Okay, uh, now the other one. Uh, Oversoul ba Badzb. Uh, Ireland from Sha uh, Shaman from Ireland and a Druid. He's a Druid, okay. Hmm. Pino, okay. All right. Oversoul dead, dead the Viking. The shaman from Iceland. Okay. Rune Master of the Lost Edda mythology. Kajimahide. I won't remember the names. So, yeah. Anyways, okay, so these people. Uh, now, the main, main guy. Like obviously we can see that he is very prideful and now like you know these type of people they are kind of annoying you know like you know who kind of always like says that oh you guys you guys uh like you know you won't be able to beat us you know this immense pride that they have that's kind of a little bit annoying in, in a sense but they're not bad people so like they are annoying as i said but i doubt that like you know they're, they're probably good people so it, it just they just needs to learn that yeah like not like I'm, I'm not better than everybody like that thing they need to learn and after that i'm sure like you know they'll be like like inherent like from, from the inside they're like good people and they just needs to learn a little bit humility is that what it, it is said you know the opposite of pride yeah i think so humility isn't it yeah so they need to learn that a little bit so <laughs> Okay, now they get to the uh, ring and we get a little bit of a teaser of <laughs> Yo's power. And okay, so just a sec. The name of the Oversoul is, uh, the name of the uh, Oversoul is Spirit of the Sword. Uh, okay, if after over 600 years, Amidamaru has transformed his soul into a higher spirit. Okay, now I need to listen to the explanation that how gave us just a sec <clears throat> he places amida maru now a higher spirit okay inside harusame's using oversoul so okay so he first places amida maru in harusame using o oversoul then he uses oversoul to imbue them no wait just a sec Okay, Spirit of the Sword uh, really is a fitting name for. Okay, Opacho says that uh, I don't know anything about uh, the Futsuno Mitama sword. Okay, basically, it's a sword that belonged to an ancient sword god. All right. It's actually nothing more than just a stone sword, but the longer its history, the stronger an intermediary is. I can't think of anything better to use Oversoul with. Okay. Where is that section? Just a sec. Okay, here it is. I was not unable to find it. He places Amidamaru Nama high, okay, high spirit inside Harusame over using Oversoul. Then he uses Oversoul to imbue them 
both together into Futsu no Mitama. Oh. Okay, okay. So he first uses his normal Oversoul, then he uses Oversoul again to infuse them with Futsu no Mitama, the, the, 600, the, the, the ancient uh, uh, sword that belonged to the god. Okay, it's kind of simple, like, you know, like, he first uses Oversoul, then uses the Futsu no Mitama, which we kind of saw him doing, like, first he used Oversoul, and then he used the other, you know, the sword, so, yeah, and then it kind of became bigger, and that is the Asakura secret, you know, that they have kept away in, like, you know, underground, and <laughs> he said, like, you know, how said something like, this will be something, this is something very big that they're, you know, hiding, so... All right. Okay. So that was that, and we still don't know the actual power of it, but it it like you know it, it can be like we can see that it really takes out a lot from uh, Yo. He became I'm, I'm guessing he became a little tired. So he said that yeah I'm just going to put this off now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and this also kind of shook. Ren as well, who was very confident about his strength, but now, like you know, he's he's kind of doubting it. That that really shows how strong Yo is from that little glimpse that we saw. <clears throat> but the opponents, they really aren't able to understand what was happening. They started yapping about, like you know, like you can't take, like you know, like life. You don't, you you can't take life easily. You know, you have to like, do this, do that, blah blah blah. And yeah, like this is one thing that <clears throat> obviously Yo himself kind of said later on that who are you to tell other people how to live their life? They have their own way, they have the, their own experiences and like you know <clears throat> all the other things. Like you don't know that person personally. So I don't think you have the right to actually judge that person. But you know, prideful people are like this. They kind of like you know like think that yeah whatever they know is correct everything else is wrong you know they have that one tracked mind but yeah like these people were also like that not these people only the guy i, I don't see the other people saying anything other two you know teammates the guy was kind of you know <clears throat> talking trash about the others but <clears throat> all right and then he attacks <laughs> Faust, who, th who he thinks is the weaker link <laughs> boy oh boy <laughs> Faust uses his new technique and we see that Elisa is now really um, you know like an individual now she can talk and <clears throat> Faust has used uh, Frank Frankenstein I think that was the name of the dog thing uh, his skeletons as his uh, uh, substitute to his leg Now, okay, so, like, obviously, it's very, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure, like, uh, Anna kind of said this before, that if you join us, you know, I'll help you, because Anna is very proficient in calling spirits, you know, like, kind of um, calling them down, and something like that, I'm guessing, like, manifesting spirit, and that really, I'm sure that was how she brought Elisa's spirit back, so... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so uh, that's how Anna actually brought Faust into their team. Now, obviously, uh, Faust kind of says something a little bit different here, which is just a sec. Where, where is that section? Mm. Okay, here it is. When he says that I'm going to do, you know, go for Yo first and Foss says that uh, nah I'm going to save Yo as well because besides my dream came true long ago. Uh, it happened two months ago thanks to Anna the Itako spirit challenging. Okay this thing however it was also the moment I lost the purpose in my life. I'm guessing like after getting Eliza back he was like what should I do now? Now here's a good like you know like funny portion here. Uh, not funny but in a way kind of interesting. 
Like he says that I was desperate to be by my Eliza's side once more. Uh, and the one who extended a kind hand to me was him. And then, <laughs> and then we see in Yo kind of like, you know, awkwardly, like, you know, saying that, you know what, Faust, you should join us at our place. And yeah, you need, we need your medical skills and your good looks. <laughs> for uh, like you know attracting more customers okay um okay and then uh, either uh, anna says that yeah i can help you uh, train and so that you can meet elisa whenever you want okay this is the f <laughs> Cra uh, not crazy but this is the f funny portion so basically, like he says that my second life with Eliza at the Fumbari Hot Springs, which will now be, uh, which will surely be completed one day. So he had his, like, you know, like, like Faust is a very simple man, as Yo said, like, you know, he just wanted to live his life happily with Eliza. Unfortunately, Eliza was not alive. That's why he tried necromancy, tried bringing her back. But unfortunately, even though he was able to bring her back, he wasn't able to make her an individual person. So, like, you know, then the fight with uh, Yo happened, he lost Eliza, and then again used his leg bone to get Eliza back, but it was still the same. So, then after that, here Anna says that, you know what, I'll actually help you talk to Eliza whenever you want to. And, yeah, now he, he gets his, what do you call it, uh, wish fulfilled, and at the same time, uh, like what would have happened if he like he, if he only got his wish fulfilled he like if eliza came back and he was able to like you know interact with eliza like a normal human being he would have probably like you know went back home kind of like you know wandered somewhere else and he would have settled down you know with eliza so uh his next goal after this would obviously be look for a place look for a living and you know like settle down like a normal family with his spirit Eliza. So that also got fulfilled here where Anna said that you join us, you'll have a home, to, <laughs> you know, you'll have a home and you'll have a living. You know, you can work for us, you live with us and you know, like Eliza, you'll be able to talk to Eliza whenever you want to. It's perfect for him. You know, that's what he wanted in his whole life. His main goal of becoming the shaman is this like a normal life with Eliza? So now here's what like he doesn't have any more uh, what do you call it uh, reason for becoming a shaman king, but he does have a reason to actually fight with Yo because like, you know when Yo will win and when all of them will win, then he will be able to go back and like you know live together with Eliza and settle down in like Fumbari Hot Springs. So this became his new goal. So it's kind of like amazing in a way, like his priority of becoming a shaman king kind of shifted from becoming a shaman king to helping Yo. Now he doesn't want to become a shaman king, I doubt it. Now he just wants to help Yo now and wants to keep Yo alive. And because he's obviously the master of the Fumbari Hot Springs. So in a way it's kind of like, you know, Yo's, uh, Yo and Anna as well, you know, their position kind of became uh, similar to Eliza in his list. I think so at least like he'll do everything to save them now because like, on them lies his future goal of settling down and <laughs> it's really great you know because he has like it's kind of like works out well like he's get, he'll get his wish fulfilled you know uh, Anna will get her wish fulfilled of getting a like you know a doctor for her hot springs <laughs> and everyone's happy so good like you know like it's kind of nice to see that he he is like you know he's going to get uh, his wish completely fulfilled and he'll be able to live like a normal man and as you said he's a very simple man he just wants to live a happy life and he got it almost like you know like by the end of this show i'm sure he'll like you know he'll <laughs> he'll have his happy ending so nice you know and uh, <laughs> yeah and that was that and Post is like uh, you think this is half baked now you see my actual power and he, he brings out Eliza's full power Mephisto E and F Eliza becomes big 
huge and i'm sure he she has immense power now <laughs> i'm looking forward to the next episode and uh, yeah okay now this thing this guy as i said he is too prideful like when he says that uh, my pride is wounded even more by looking at this um like he says that to learn that our opponent is fighting for such a dumb reason like oh god like these type of people like they think that whatever they like you know like like they have too much pride about themselves they think that whatever they're doing are so like you know noble and so great that they start demeaning other people's uh, reason for you know fighting about for something or existing they they, they just love it you know and uh, like it, it's, it's just the main problem is their pride and like as you said that you don't have any right to actually judge others for their own reason for living like everyone like everyone is a different person like you know like you have not seen his past you have not lived his life you've not walked on his in his shoes so yeah you don't have any right to do that <clears throat> yeah yeah like yo says that uh the ma it, what matters to people is their own choice as long as he's serious about it what difference does it make but he still doesn't understand he's like yeah that's still half bait crap uh, i don't care like you know my reason is better than yours so yeah like you know yours is half bait that's just him um as i said like you know these type of people needs to get their pride a little bit hammered down and i'm sure after that he'll be a nice guy <laughs> They're usually nice people, but like looking at them, like you know these these characters, they seem like good pe good people. But yeah, the the, the main like you know the, the leader's pride is a bit too much, so he needs to <laughs> like you know lose hair very spectacularly in front of so many people. That will definitely hammer down her his pride, and he'll learn his lesson. And I'm sure in the future he'll be more um, he'll learn more about humility. <laughs> That's what he needs. So I'm sure Faust can handle that. And I think like Faust himself will be able to handle this whole match. Let's see. I doubt Yo and um, um, Ryu will have to even do anything. So yeah, let's wait for the next episode. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Shaman King episode number 22. So if you guys enjoyed my video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day